against them because his hands are tied. When he is outside of prison, every minute he has to stand up and oppose this wicked, criminal, anti-Jewish movement. We are here on this day when so ignorant people sadly are celebrating. And what are they celebrating? They are celebrating not only bloodshed of innocent people, they are not celebrating only the occupation of others. They are not only celebrating the oppression of an entire people. Which people? The Palestinian people who, was, who used to be kind to us, who still are friendly to Jewish people, despite all they face from the Zionist movement, the supposed representative of the Jewish people. 
But it is only sad, it's also sadly these people are celebrating the greatest rebellion against God. This is blatant. There, there is no secret about it. The state of Israel being an official secular state, uprooting the religion, the Jewish religion from the masses of Jewish people. You have to be so ignorant, so naive not to understand how contrary this is to Judaism and how this movement in no way represents Jewish people or the Jewish religion. Let me speak to open-minded people. You should open your eyes and rethink. Try to remember the education of your grandparents from generations back. What was that religion that those people, your grandparents, gave their lives for? We have to understand and realize that this is not the Zionist movement. The Zionist movement is something totally, not only different, but the total contrast of what Jewish people believed and gave their lives for thousands of years. We have to wake up and we have to realize that there might be some massive propaganda driving the minds of so many young and old to think and believe that the Zionist movement, the state of Israel, is the continuation of what Jewish people believed and practiced for thousands of years. We are approaching the Jewish holiday of Shavuos, the holiday when, when God gave the Torah for the Jewish people. Now listen to this. Is this state of Israel a, a continuation of our standing on Mount Sinai receiving a religion and a Torah from God? Obviously not. One might argue that they choose to be liberal, they choose to be secular, they choose to be something different, something new. That's the choice of the individual. You would have to be accountable to God for your decision. But in any case, don't you call this Judaism? Don't you think or make other people believe that this is representing the Jewish religion? No, it's not. This killing, this stealing, these crimes going on for so long, this rebellion against God and uprooting of, basis of uh, basics of Jewish religion in no way represents our tradition, in no way represents our, our belief. Yeah, you agree. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. You guys were singing along. Your lips were moving when he was singing. It brought smiles to some of you. Can you believe that? You are welcome. We did that free of charge. What did you have to say to our rabbi when he was speaking to you? What would you say? F something, say it. What did you want to say to him? When he was talking and then the four letter word came out to him, what did you say? Nothing, bro. Well, no, no. Sorry, what did you say? No, say the four letter word with it. Any comments? There you go. That's how, that's how pathetic you are for a person of spiritual things to that person. We can disagree with people's religions, but you want to say that to a person of spirituality. You want to say that to a rabbi. I'm never going to say such disgusting words to a rabbi. Free, free Palestine! Long live Palestine! Gaza, Gaza, don't you cry! Palestine will never die! Palestine will never die! Israel, stop killing innocent people! Stop killing children! Long live Palestine! Occupation no 